everyone. I'm Audrey Mislan with Mystic Images. Thanks for joining me tonight. We're going to be doing a splendid sun mandala. And this is kind of a little bit different approach. This is more like a walkthrough of how I completed it and the different steps rather than just watching me create. So I hope you enjoy the format. I'm doing a little bit of experimenting with it. So it's called Splendid Sun Mandala. Supplies include a pencil, ruler, compass, protractor, eraser, scrap paper, alcohol markers, colored pencils, black Sharpie, and a craft mat. I used Ranger Archival ink pad in magenta hue. The stamp that's featured is the Splendid Sun Art Foamy stamp, and I'm using Strathmore mixed media paper at five and a half by eight and a half. I also have a clipboard and masking tape just to kind of keep everything secure so it doesn't move around. Here's my starting point, and it's a beautiful stamp from Art Foamy. It stamps well with archival ink, um, especially once you've used it once. And I also make sure I mark the center of my paper, both vertically and horizontally, before I stamp the image. So to set everything up, I have a cutting mat. And it's just a simple cutting mat that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, it holds an eight and a half by five and a half sheet of paper easily. And you can tell I've used the clipboard for a lot of different things. I need to get another one. Here's my color palette. Now, the color palette I'm using are colors I got from a lot of different places. Um, so I can't give you exact names because I use several different brands on it, but I use kind of a darker purple or fuchsia, a medium fuchsia or pink, and then a green. Um, you also see on the side where I tested my colored pencil and my glitter pens. Um, and again, I use lots of different brands of glitter pens. Um, lots of different brands of colored pencils as well. It's just whatever I grab. But I do like to make sure everything works well together. This center stripe that you see on screen is from where I tested what a white colored pencil looks like over the alcohol marker. Once I get the image stamped and I've got everything centered, I typically divide the image. In this case, it's in 10 degree increments. And then I draw out the mandala in pencil. This just helps me kind of plan out the design. Um, I can also erase my pencil lines once I'm done with the alcohol markers so it doesn't show. But it gives me a way to kind of see how things are going to look before I rush right into the marker. <clears throat> I've completed the first row. And this just shows with the alcohol marker. And I started with a color that was fairly close to the archival ink. I did a lighter row for the second, co second color I used. This creates contrast in the image. Even though I'm going to do other steps, starting out building in that contrast really works well for your imagery. I added petals, and the petals are in a green that complements the fuchsia. Um, I don't want it to contrast, but I want it to look nice. I want it to be not the same intensity or saturation. I added berries or dots. I did these with a glitter pen. The ovals are done um, with a silver glitter gel pen. I've also added some highlights with a white colored pencil and some darker areas with a darker colored pencil. This just kind of helps build in depth to the image. <clears throat> and again, I'm erasing pencil lines once the alcohol marker dries. 
Now I'm going back in and addling, doodling with a black Sharpie. And I always try to make sure I have scrap paper to make sure my nib is clean. I typically use a fine line black Sharpie for this. And I may test out my patterns on scrap paper before I go in to my mandala. And instead of outlining and finishing with color, I actually went in with black Sharpie and filled the whole border in with black. I'll also erase out any of the extra pencil lines and this mandala will be done. I also went back in and added touches of the glitter gel pen to different areas of the mandala. I love sparkle, so I just couldn't resist. I also added some details to the face of the sun as well. And I love sparkle. Um, you can also do the sparkle with watercolor as well. Um, I would recommend if you are going to do the sparkle with watercolor that you do that first before you do a lot of color pencil. Sometimes the wax in the color pencil will cause a resist with the watercolor. And here is the finished mandala with the black border and glitter gel pen work added. I also did a version of the Splendid Sun in purple. Um, I'm a big fan of purple. I also like pink, I, particularly the magenta fuchsia kind of hues. So here's my color palette. And for this one, I use the Lunar Lilac and Moonlight White Moonlight Duo Tint ink pad. These have been discontinued now um, with art foamies. You may still be able to get them as long as they're in stock. And I use the Splendid Sun stamp from art foamies again. And again, you can see I tested out my colored pencils. I tested out my gel pen and my white colored pencil over the alcohol marker. And I do like working in kind of a formula. So I do the sketching, then I might lighten the sketch with a kneaded eraser if I need to. I do the alcohol first um, because alcohol works well with colored pencil and it works well with watercolor glitter. Um, it doesn't move because it's, it's more permanent. And here is the finished Splendid Sun done in purple. I did a little bit different technique as far as the border. I added leaves. Um, you can definitely see the way the light's hitting it, the sparkle on the gel pen. Different look from the Splendid Sun in pink. Here are the two side by side. And it just goes to show you how different leaves and different techniques finish out. Um, I like them both. I can't say that I have a favorite of one over the other. Um, I do enjoy working this way. And it's one of the first times I've actually tried building a mandala off a stamp. So if you're going to try it, I suggest that you try the mandala the first time with a circular stamp. Um, find the center of your paper and then kind of the center of your stamp and stamp it, and that will allow you to build everything out in a circle based off the stamp. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. A little bit different. You can find me on my link tree, which has all the links to my different social media. I'm also on Coffee and Patreon. Thanks for joining me tonight. I hope you do try um, the Splendid Sun Technique with stamps of your own choice. Um, you can check out Art Foamies and see if, it, see if it's available. I'll be dropping a link to Art Foamies as well as their Etsy shop in the description box if you want to see if you can find one. So thanks for joining me tonight and have a wonderful rest of your evening and Stay creative, everybody. Have a great night. I'll see you on the next one. I am using my coffee platform 
as my sales or shop platform. So I will be doing some different things with it. So be sure to check out my coffee shop regularly. Bye, everybody. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for joining me. Stay creative.